Welcome to the Glenn Beck Program. Um, I was listening to uh, Pat and Stu there, and, and thank you guys for uh, filling in. We have a problem uh, seemingly getting my voice uh, down to earth, even though I'm only 8,000 feet above earth. But uh, thanks for filling in. I'm listening to them talk about J.D. Vance and weird, how weird he is. Well, first of all, let's keep J.D. Vance weird, okay? Uh, you can go to glenbeckmerch.com right now and get your Keep J.D. Vance uh, Weird t-shirt. I thought weird was an okay thing. I mean, that was keep Austin weird, keep San Francisco weird, uh, keep Portland weird. So I, I don't know what their problem is. Well, actually, I do. In listening to Pat and Stu, they bring up a lot of really, really good points. But I think we're missing one thing. To him, he is weird. And this is critical to understand because we think they're weird, right? So let me explain why they think J.D. uh, Vance is weird. J.D. Vance is from a red state. Weirdness number one. J.D. Vance grew up in white poverty. Weirdness number two for them. Uh, They, uh, he was... He, was, he had a horrible, horrible life. He didn't have white privilege. Number weirdness number three. And he never gave up or listened to the naysayers. Weirdness number four. Just that is enough to make him weird. But that's not the full key. Eden Pure is back with their famous thunderstorm air purifier. It's their top seller air purifier that quickly destroys viruses, odors, mold, and so much more. With thousands of five-star reviews, you know it works. Any smell will vanish after just a few seconds of the thunderstorm being plugged in. Odors, litter boxes, trash cans, cigarette smokes, dirty diapers, Wow, I don't want to visit that house. The powerful thunderstorm sends out O3 molecules that seek out and destroy odors. I have these in my house. They're great. The molecules go uh, behind and under furniture. Nothing can hide from the thunderstorm. Best of all, no filters to buy over and over again, saving you money. Start enjoying your home again and get several thunderstorms. Right now, you can save $200 on an Eden Pure Thunderstorm 3-pack for the whole home protection. You get three units for under $200. Put one in your basement, bedroom, family room, kitchen, wherever you need the air to be clean. Go to EdenPureDeals.com. EdenPureDeals.com. Use the promo code BECK and save. To understand why the left thinks J.D. Vance is weird and they don't relate to his policies is because he comes at life 180 degrees differently than the left does. He believes in pull yourself up by the bootstraps. Don't let anybody tell you no. Do it. Do it. No matter what anybody says about you, because nobody is holding you down, nobody's holding you back, except you and your choices. That's one of the biggest things that's weird about J.D. Vance. Because either they totally believe it, or they're, they know they're running an evil scam uh, on, on people all over the world. You can't make it. You'll never make it. You need me to make it. Who says that? Who says that except an abusive partner? You'll never make it. You know who's keeping you down, but I can help you get there. I mean, that's the Nina Simone uh, uh, life. Nina Simone is, is probably the greatest jazz singer of the 20th century. You don't know it, uh, or you, know, you, you may know her or know that she's great, but you, she didn't have her popularity Because she was twisted from the beginning. White people telling her she couldn't do it. And then breaking through that. And then marrying abusive men over and over again. That just used her and lied to her and abused her. Well, you start to believe those things. Or you conquer those things. It's not what happens to you in life. It's what you do with those things. I thought my dad was crazy when he told me, son, there's nothing. There's nothing bad. 
And I was feeling bad for myself. And I, re- I said, really? Nothing bad? Really? Well, how about when this happened or this happened or, or mom died? That wasn't bad? He's like, there are things that happen that cause scars. There are things that happen that we don't like. But you're either going to wallow in that or you're going to learn and take something away from that and help it empower you. This is the lesson of life. Don't cower. Stand back up. Because life is going to hit you over and over again. We'll stand up. So that is, that's really weirdness number four. But here's the main weirdness for the left with J.D. Vance. He's an entrepreneur. And it coincides with, don't tell anybody, you know, don't let anybody tell you what you are or what you aren't. Don't tell, let anybody tell you no. Just do it yourself if you believe it. You may fail, but you're going to pick yourself back up. That's an entrepreneurial spirit. Those are the people with real drive. And they're, they're different than people that just want a nine-to-five job. And there's nothing wrong with either of them. You can be somebody who's like, I don't want all of that. I just don't want all of that. I don't want to be responsible. I just want to go do my time and make my money, be treated fairly, and go home and have a life. I don't know what percentage of the population is like that, but there's a good portion of the population that is like that. And those are the people that the left relates to and counts on. Because they can use greed and envy to have you look at an entrepreneur. Somebody would drive. Look, man, I don't have the drive to do what Elon Musk does. I don't have the brains to do it either. So why should I think I, I should take some money from Elon Musk? Why would I hate Elon Musk? For having the brains and the, the absolute gall to do what he's done? Take all of the risks? Oh, good for him. See, what the left doesn't understand is we need each other. We need the entrepreneurs. We need the people that think out of the box. Quite honestly, we need rich people that will will build libraries or or invest in some crazy crackpot idea. By the way, every idea that's changed the world has been crazy or crackpot. We need the entrepreneurs, the crackpots, the inventors, the people who have drive that just won't stop. And those people need the nine-to-fivers. Can you imagine what it would be like if we were a society that was just full of nothing but entrepreneurs? You'd think it would be a good thing, but it wouldn't be. Who's actually holding down the fort? Who's doing all of the work that needs to be done to get that idea launched? You have to have the nine-to-fivers. You have to have them. And nine to fivers, you know, the old saying is, you know, tell me the the last poor person that you worked for. Because those people who have an average salary and everything else, and again, there's nothing wrong with that. They're not the ones necessarily that have the drive, and maybe they do, and they're waiting for their opportunity or whatever, but... Generally speaking, those who want to work 9 to 5, clock in, clock out, have a life, those aren't the ones that have the dreams of changing the world. No entrepreneur can do without them. So here's what happens. They think J.D. Vance is weird because they can't relate to him. They can't relate to him on anything. His white poverty instead of his white privilege. His red state over their blue state. 
his getting back up again over and over again and rejecting the idea, stay down. You need the government. Reach out for a handout. They can't understand that. Even though his family did take government assistance because they needed it, you got out of that. No, stay in it. He's an entrepreneur. He's a guy who dedicated himself. He was a dummy. Dedicated himself to learn. And he did. And that opened another door. Don't just go to school and just do it like everybody else does. Actually choose to be in charge of your education. Take it seriously. And look at the door that will open for you. They don't understand that. They want you to sit in that class and learn not to read, not to write, all of the stuff. They want you to learn how to be a good little soldier for them and the collective. If you have unbridled crony capitalism, which is what we have had, if you have it to where the government can get involved and start making bets on who's going to succeed and who's not, what does that give you? It gives you a culture much like ours. It gives you a culture where, God help you, you're not going to be able to escape because it's not fair because the man, not in the corporation, but the corporation and the government keep you down. You cannot invent a better mousetrap because the people at the mousetrap company have all kinds of uh, laws that they have helped write to make sure you can't start at the, begon- at the uh, beginning. And so you get this greed, this envy, this wealth, this power, and it's all corrupt. But then the left comes in and says, let's get rid of these rich people because they're bad. And we're going to tell everybody else that we're the power and you can't make it without us. But who are those people? Those are the same people at the top now in the corporations and the government that are saying, you can't make it. Give me more power. Pass more laws in my favor that are holding us down now. That's why this system is broken. And you can't go back to the way it was with crony capitalism. you got to get rid of all of that. You have to reduce the size of the government and put a clear wall between the government and business. They are only there. The government is only there to say, excuse me, that's against the law. It's a place for you to run to and say, I need the police. But you can't do that with the government now. You're going to run to the FBI? You think you're going to get a fair shake? Socialists eat the entrepreneur. They eat them. They eat the rich. And that's why it always fails. Socialism, communism always fails because it eats the dreamers. There are no dreamers. Tell me who the dreamers are in the government. That's why he's weird to them. And again, I would say, if that's the case, keep J.D. Vance weird. 